Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you or telling you guys about some of the things that are on my manga shopping list or wish list in from 2020, so the rest of this year, until probably the end of next year. So, this is just going to be a little compilation of everything that I'm planning to pick up or probably just wanting to pick up over the next few months, probably the next 12 months, and yeah, so let's just get straight into this video. Alrighty, so in this list, this is just going to be series that I haven't already owned volumes of, so I will be picking up more volumes of pretty much every series on my shelf or attempting to, so I don't really want to have to specify all of those because that is a lot of volumes that I'd have to put on this list and that would probably make this video like an hour long because I could just say I want to pick up the next 30 volumes of Haikyuu and list everything from Haikyuu, so yeah, that's probably not a good idea for me to do that. Anyway, I'm just going to do everything that's new to me and that I'm planning to collect for the next 12 months. So yeah, let's get back to the list. Alrighty, so the first three things, these are just pretty much new releases that have recently come out that are really popular. And I'm planning to pick up Jujutsu Kaisen, Chainsaw Man, and Spy X Family. So those three series are um, pretty much, I've been hearing really good things about them, and they kind of just look really cool. I did read a few chapters of Jujutsu Kaisen and Spy X Family on the Shonen Jump app, and it just seems pretty cool, seemed like an awesome concept for both of those series. Chainsaw Man I've heard a lot of things about, I've heard it's actually really dark for a shonen sort of manga, and I'm pretty excited to get into that one when I pick up the first volume. Sadly I haven't been able to pick up those volumes yet because I have been doing other things apart from collecting manga, but when I pick up more manga, probably those three are probably my priorities for new series that I'm going to try out and see whether I like. So yeah, let's get on to the next few. Alrighty, so next up are a few like seinen series. I'm planning on trying to pick up a few Ineo Sano works, so Solonin and Dead Dead Demons, Dead 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 Destruction. Those two series look pretty cool. Heard some good things about them. Apparently, they're probably the best beginner in your Sano works to read because Dead to Demons is pretty like slice of life and a bit more relaxing and relaxed compared to the other series. And Solonin's just apparently just a just a normal slice of life sort of manga with a few dark tones, but not as bad or not as dark as some of his other works. Then I'm also planning to pick up Vagabond which I've heard great things about, and Blade of the Immortal. So those two series are pretty similar apparently, they're both about samurai or something. So I'm pretty excited to try and get into those two, as I do like my action in manga and fighting and stuff. So probably looking to pick up those two in the next few months. But yeah, and now probably like get into some more shonen sort of titles that I'm looking for, or looking to plan up picking up. So yeah. So I'm planning on picking up the boxed sets of Tokyo Ghoul and Tokyo Ghoul Re. Um, those two series look really good, and I've heard great things about the rest of Tokyo Ghoul. As you'll know, I do own the first volume of Tokyo Ghoul, and I did start the video by saying I wouldn't say any manga that I already own. But I've kind of put that off for a while, and then I heard the Tokyo Ghoul Rebox set came out. And to be able to pick that up, I really need to read the rest of Tokyo Ghoul. So I'm going to include that on this list. But I'm planning to pick Tokyo Ghoul, both of the box sets up. And probably the Death Note box set, and I've only read that digitally. And I really want to own that series physically, because I think that would just be really cool. Um, and apart from that, I'll probably pick up like Slam Dunk, which I'm also looking forward to. I've been thinking about picking that up, debating it for the last few months. Like every haul I've done, I've debated picking up a volume of Slam Dunk. Like I've thrown it in the cart and just removed it because I just thought that it wouldn't suit me. But I really have enjoyed Haikyuu, and now that it's ending, I probably need to find another sports mod that I can jump onto. So, yeah, we'll figure that one out when it comes. But I'm 100% going to try to pick up Slam Dunk at some point. And probably the other series that I'm going to pick up are Demon Slayer and Kuroko no Basket. Those two look really cool. Um, I don't know. Demon Slayer, I heard, wasn't as good as the anime. And even then, I didn't think the anime was amazing. I just thought it had good animations. But we'll give it a go. We'll see. Um, 
But Kuroko no Basket, I definitely want to get some physical volumes of. I read that digitally and really enjoyed it. It's a good basketball manga. I kind of lost it a little bit after they sort of added in superpower looking things and just didn't. Just took the like basketball side of it away and just didn't make it as enjoyable. But sorry if that was a spoiler, by the way. <laughs> um, but yeah, apart from that, I don't think there's many other series I'm planning on picking up. But yeah, that's just a few things that I'm looking forward to getting. Over the next few months, there are some more releases that are kind of come out that I'm probably going to like. Like, as if you, if you saw my last video, I am excited for Fist of the North Star, which is coming out next year, which I am really, really hyped about. I really want that. That looks really, really cool. But, yeah, apart from that, there's not really anything else I'm too excited to pick up or looking to pick up, but we'll just get there. We'll see. We'll see what it's like, and hopefully over the next 12 months, this collection goes from being 70 volumes to 170, something like that. Hopefully, you can get an awesome-looking collection, have some cool manga in there, some awesome series. We'll just we'll see how it goes. I'll continue to do manga collection updates and everything throughout the next few months as it'll probably end up with some cool stuff and some cool things to show off. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll get to the outro. So, yeah, see you there. Alrighty, guys, if you like this video, please like and subscribe button. Turn on post notifications, leave a comment down below. Any anime, manga, or video game recommendations you have for me. I do have my second channel, which is set up for gaming. I'm trying to make some quality videos on this, so I only upload, like, once every week or two weeks. But... I do try to make those videos as good as I can. I do upload a lot of Call of Duty gameplays, uh, some survival game day gameplays like Daisy sort of stuff. I am planning on trying to do a Forza series maybe. Play a few horror games actually. I've been really into a couple of those. And yeah, we'll see what you guys are up for. It. And yeah, that's all I have for today's video. Anyway, hope you all had a good day. Hope you enjoyed this video. And peace.